Okay, we are making the absolute most famous, and I know I say this all the time, most famous, number one request that everyone's here, Hadassah, Tamar, my hubby, who usually is like not, loves to be on camera, Sathya Wave. This is the most famous recipe in the entire book. It was in the New York Times. I get rave and crazy reviews about it, and it's not even mine, and it was a secret to me forever. Our family heirloom chillant. So I brought the expert in, because I don't really make it, and I just need him to like show his wares. Can make it. So let's go, let's talk. So we start with two potatoes, right? Two potatoes. Now why, we, why do we do the potatoes first? The potatoes, in addition to having the potatoes in the chillant, they also help as a liner on the bottom. Mm -hmm. It can help prevent some burning. Right, so it's for taste and for... Why do you peel them? Why do I peel why them? Why not? Because the outsides are dirty. So you, you can, can clean them. You can clean them. There's a lot of nutrients in the yeah. skin. Oh God, you know what? He didn't, he's making chillin'. You know he's like in front of like two nutritionist mommies. <laughs> you guys leave your skin on on your potatoes yeah. and your chillin'? Yeah, I, I use the red potatoes. Well, the so red potatoes red is ones. different. So you learn yeah, something new every day. I leave yeah. the skin on. Are we gonna leave the skin on now? No. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will give them a ring. Okay, great. Now I never leave the skin on these. I like it on red skin potatoes, but not these. And we cut it up, right? Just gonna cut them vertically. This is the man who taught me how to cook, guys. So now we're going to get our onion. I don't hear sushi. chef. Usually you're mine. We're going to slice our onion in half, and it's the same as the potatoes. Attention. This is like serious stuff. So if you want smaller pieces, you cut them fine. If you want to see those pieces of onions, then uh, leave them bigger. But I like, I like the finer, smaller onions. So you're seeing a little bit. We're going to keep putting it back in the pot. So basically the story is like this, we get married and he would not tell me what's in the chillin'. Like he would not, like, it was a secret family recipe that is right, your father made, your brother made. My father made, my brother made. You didn't want made. to make it? Um, if I watched or whatever, he wouldn't give me measurements or anything. And then one shot as he was sick. And he had to walk me through it and that's how I got the recipe. Because he said he was just going to pass it on if we ever have a boy god willing to him. What's next? So now we're using our meat. What are we using? We are using flanken. Why? Flanken you want to use because it has bones. Yeah, and also because it has lots of fat in it. So anytime you're using a crock pot or some kind of meat that you're going to cook for a long time, you want the, the fat in the meat. And the bones too. And the bones Just also. Good flavor. If you're going to use, sometimes you go to the butcher and you see a nice cut of meat right. and it's really nice and red. Gorgeous. You don't want to get those because it will dry up by the time you eat your chun. This is like we want soft, buttery, fall apart, you know, no knife needed. Wow, you use a lot of meat. We use a lot of meat because I love us? meat. And also <laughs> during the week, should you decide to eat your chillin again, you want to have meat again also. Otherwise, it's like not really worth it. I leave some, I do different sizes because for me, I know the pieces I put in and then when I'm eating it, I'm looking for those big pieces again to eat. <laughs> and we don't, you, the worst thing ever is when your guests are like searching and searching and searching for that piece, you know? Yeah, I put it in big chunks, but I don't, I don't use flanken. I use... Um, Which one? A wesley kosher. They sell the chalant meat. Right, but fine. it has no bones, but I use marrow bones. Okay, well, well you're adding love, bones and your chalant meat has also yeah. fat. Right, so you're accomplishing the same thing, just with yeah. a different cut. And that's fine. You know, that, what steak do we use for the oriental steak that With also works steak. out? Chuck steak works out good here, too. Uh, the chuck steak's just a little thinner. Yeah. This is a little thicker, so it'll just last longer. Right, when we're having company, we go for the flunk. Right, okay, so now a lot of people put their spice in at the end. I put my spice in, in at the end except for the pepper. The pepper right. I put in now because I want it to be on the meat because so it'll help season the meat. For me, this is the whole idea is you just so throw everything yeah. in instead yeah. of hot in the kitchen with searing the meat and frying well, the onions break. and the so other things really. to clean. Yeah. Yeah. What are we doing next? All right. So next we're going to do our beans and our barley. Barley usually comes depending upon the brand, but they usually come in a, in a bag like this. So we usually use, I would say, probably a quarter to a third of the bag, depending upon how much company you're having. And you can just put that in. I'm not probably a lot of people will even go into half a bag sometimes. I, yeah. use, I use three quarters. Oh my gosh, so we're, we're busy with the meat filling it up, not with the boys. <laughs> right. And those are things you learn in time with your own chill and your own crock pot. Right. Look how big our crock pot is. This yeah, is the dasas right. that we're making it in. It's a seven quart. Now, if it was up to me, I'd go more beans, but, and we don't right. soak our beans. You guys soak your beans? No. Yeah, please. No, we don't soak our beans, yeah. and we put in a little less beans than we do barley. 
Yeah. But that's all for taste. Now what are we next, babes? Okay, so next we're going to add some of our spices. Do you want to talk about this? Yes, part? okay. This is no MSG, so Nachal makes the chulam, he's in charge, he gets to use it. It hurts me every time we use it. And my new theory, if I was like in charge of this chulant, we nothing usually does two spoons of this and then fills it up with water. I would use beef broth or chicken broth instead of the seasoning. But this is how we love it and it's really, really good. And this is why it's great. When the New York Times did the recipe, they took this ingredient out and said chicken broth or beef broth. So, but this is the right. authentic one. Well, a lot of times, the less healthy it is, the better it tastes. <laughs> so we're going to use probably about one really heavy tablespoon and one not so heavy and just sprinkle it all around. And this is like your kitchen spoon. Now we get our paprika. Oh, we love this. This gives such good it color. It gives a nice color. And you just want to lightly cover all of that yellow that we just put out. And then we're really good. Now let's get our, we can use actually our honey first. I give it down so for our honey yeah. bear. It's so cute. I love the honey bear. And I kind of like... Like I'm making a cinnamon bun, I'm just gonna go in a circle and just bring it all into the middle. Or like I'm the honey a is gonna bun. make it nice and sweet. In addition, it's going to help our consistency. Right. We love uh, sticky, tacky chillin', right? Sticks to your like, insides. Like put it on a spoon, turn it upside down, and it might not come off. Yeah. Now we when, won't be hungry till Sunday. Now when you go to the store, we get our kishka. Kishka, is, there's a lot of kishka. Kishka out makes there, or breaks it but totally. But to us, the right. kishka makes it or breaks it. So we use the A and H. When they're out of it, our chillin' is not the same. We just cut in the middle. Take our plastics off. Now some people put it in just like this, this way they can have some nice slices. You guys slice at home? Or you can... We don't really use kishka. What? You know, I can't believe I ate at your house. Kishka, well, the chillin' wasn't that. Right, right, they're not as good as ours. <laughs> well, you're not coming in yet. She <laughs> uses a whole sure. bottle of barbecue sauce. It's our turn to invite them. You can come too tomorrow. We'll try it now, you'll see. Yeah. And then we're just gonna place them in there. No ketchup? <laughs> no barbecue sauce? None. We don't do any of those. Yeah. Our secret ingredients are is the Osem and our brand of Kishka. But specifically also the combo of the honey, pepper, and paprika. I mean it's like the whole thing, which yes, is not much but of a secret. Those are things that other people make as well. Those will overlap in people's recipes. Yeah, but they ruin it with ketchup and barbecue sauce. Some people put beer in. Beer. Yes. Like peanut butter. The ketchup and the bar the ketchup. <laughs> the ketchup and the barbecue sauce is really what's going to make it sweet. Right. That's not necessarily what we're going for in our chillin. Okay, so that's really all of our ingredients. Not okay. very difficult. And now we're going to slide it over to the faucet. Now this is a very large crock pot, so we are not going to bring our water all the way to the top. I put the water right over the kishka. This way it doesn't disturb the way that I've laid out all the other ingredients. It's layering. The layering is very important. So I'm just going to fill it up probably till it just covers everything, not not the kishka, just all the other ingredients, the meat and the beans. And that's really it. Oh, baby. Hadassah, how do you do this? Okay, so this is Hadassah. This is going in here. We cook it on medium. Oh, like 18 or 20 hours is our thing going for? Yeah, about 18 to 20 hours. Yeah, we don't play around here. And here we've been working on, here's the finished products. Our chillin' pot, this is 10 years old. It's passed down from the brother who had the recipe from the father of this chillin'. This has been so good to us. But we jam pack this thing in, so we always put it on a little baking sheet because it just, that thing overflows. But that's what makes it good. Oh, now can we also get the um, serving thing that I love to put it in? Oh, yeah. God. Ugh. Taking it out, I'm gonna bring it over here. So this has been cooking last night at like 10 o'clock. He was like, oh my gosh, we need to make the chillins. So we have something ready to show you guys. Look at this. Okay, this has been cooking for 20 hours. This is what people like look forward to all week. Hadassah will give us the French uh, history lesson on chillins. Go Hadass. while I mix it's this up. Not, it's not a, a proven fact, but apparently Chillant is from two words in French. Chaud, which means hot. And it's and spelled D. C H A U D. But I didn't know you don't pronounce that. Chaud is hot and long means slow. So it's something that's hot and cooks slow. So you have right. chaud long. Chillant. Right. Chillant. So what is that like that? What pronunciation is that? Definitely not the official French. Chillant. I have no clue. Okay. Yeah. So we put everything in here when we're serving it. The bones, I mean, if I see a big bone and nothing else, then I'll probably leave it in the pot. But the meat, I like to like work in my kishka. Again, you could take the kishka out and slice it. 
I love the well done beans at the top. Like I sometimes I scrape them off and keep them for myself. But um, let me get this in. Can you smell it, guys? Does it smell good? It smells heavenly. Okay, authentic, right? Not the best thing to do to let people serve it themselves. Yeah, because there's so many different ingredients. This way they can actually pick the things that they like. Yeah, I don't want chunks of meat or potatoes. And I want extra chunks of potatoes. So we'll share. Well, should I let the guests go first? Sure. Okay, fine. Go for it, girlfriends. After you tomorrow. Adasa, don't look so excited. Tell everyone it's really amazing. You just didn't want to be flesh right now. That's your problem. Well, if I eat this chowan, then there's no pizza for lunch. There's no milk in my coffee. Hello. <laughs> or soy milk over there on the table behind you. Don't do it. No. No, it's, coffee isn't worth it with soy milk. I love, I love soy milk. I'm going to try a little bit of all the things. I got kishka there. I got the meat. That's Equal the opportunity. That's it? Taster. Oh, so I take more? Okay, fine. <laughs> It's a little insulting to okay, This is it. We've got nothing else for you. So we can eat. Yes. I like I like the mush of the, um, the kishka bar. barley and beans. Like I'm, I want those well done beans that were at the top. Oh, I got a big chunk of meat. <laughs> it's a contaminant. I hi baby. <laughs> I made this one. I practiced last night because I didn't know if he was gonna go on camera. So he was standing next to me, and I actually made it. You did good. Yeah. Very good. Proud. Very. Mm. I usually don't make it this good. This is delicious. Thank you, Nachum. Okay, enjoy, guys. Check it out. We'll put the recipe. Oh, the recipe is. It's in the first book, Quick and Kosher, Recipes from the Bride Who Knew Nothing, online at joyofkosher.com, in the New York Times. Yeah? That's right. We're all good.